My dear friends, the message of Easter Sunday is Jesus is alive. And because he is alive, I stand here to preach. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, we celebrated the suffering of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. And now I remind you the power of his resurrection. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You can turn with me from the book of Acts chapter 4 and verse 10. You will read there and you will find a man who was lame from his mother's womb. And what happened was that Peter prayed for him, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And in this verse, verse 10, chapter 4 of Acts, we saw here that Peter said, this man stood here because of Jesus Christ who has risen from the dead. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And now I am preaching to you, my friend, about that Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forevermore. And what he did yesterday, he will do it today, and he will do it tomorrow, because he is the same by the power of his resurrection. I remember Conrad Adenauer, the first chancellor of Germany, a man who brought democracy to Germany. One day he asked Billy Graham, the evangelist, he said, do you believe in life after death? Billy Graham said, yes, I do, because the Bible says so. And this man said, when I leave office, I intend to study the resurrection of Christ because if Christ is alive, there is hope in this world. Can you imagine this great man? He said, I intend to study the resurrection of Christ. And if Christ is alive, there is hope for Germany. There is hope for the whole Asia. There is hope for Europe. There is hope for Africa. There is hope for every one of us. I believe this man experienced the hardship of war, World War II. And he also experienced, I Thing, a terrible experience during the reign of Hitler and he saw with his own eyes that there is no hope for his country there is no hope for this world thank God for this man he said I want to study the resurrection of Christ because if Christ is alive there is hope maybe today you are watching me you say, Pastor, I feel hopeless when I look at my family. I feel I could not stand and serve God anymore. When I look at my spouse, I look and I see there is no hope. My dear friends, if Christ is alive, there is hope. And I say to you, Jesus Christ is alive. He has risen from the dead. Glory be to God in the highest. Therefore, there is hope for you. 2.38 billion people Christian in the world. 31% of the population of the world were Christian. I want to tell you, they stand in this hope that Jesus Christ has risen and their hope is in the resurrected Lord. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is alive, your hope is a shaken hope. And there is no hope 
for the people who think they believe in Jesus, but they don't believe in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember the disciples who denied Christ. A disciple who doubted Christ. And many of them left Christ. And I also believe that many who followed him. Because they saw how he performed miracles, signs and wonders. These same people. In the last hour of the life of Jesus here on earth. Many of them fled. Why my friends? They thought. Now it is over. Now I don't know what to do. But thank God. After the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. What happened? We read in the scripture. Peter was ignited. And we also saw in the Bible. That this man. Thomas. Who came to India and preached the gospel. A doubter, I can say. But this man was converted by the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. My friend, don't doubt that Jesus Christ has risen. And he is there by your side. Glory be to God. What does it mean when I say that Jesus has reason? I mean to say Jesus has defeated death. That is the meaning when I say Jesus has reason. Jesus has defeated grave. And he offers us to share in eternal life with him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Do you believe in that? When Jesus has risen from the dead and he offers us eternal life and one day you and I the scripture says in the twinkling of an eye we will be transformed my friend and we will be with Jesus Christ forever and ever and ever that's the power of his resurrection and when I say Jesus has risen I also mean the living and the healing power of Jesus Christ in action. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I tell you, the scripture says in Romans 8, 11, By the same spirit who raised Jesus from the dead is the same spirit who will give life to our mother bodies. Who raised Jesus from the dead? The Holy Spirit. And this same Holy Spirit is living at the inside of us. He is giving us life and he is healing our sick bodies. Praise be to God in the highest. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Do you believe that the power of his resurrection will give you life and will give you health? I saw in the scripture the Bible says, this man stood here because of Jesus Christ who has risen from the dead. Which means this Christ has risen from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit who will give life and heal our sicknesses. And when we speak about the living and the healing power in action. I speak about the Holy Spirit who gives us life and who also bring healing. I remember Jesus said, I felt that the power has gone out of me. The power, dunamis, has gone out of me. The power went to the sick body. Hallelujah. That same power raised him from the dead. Glory be to God in the highest. And this same power is still in action. This same power is still the same. 
even now if we have faith and really believe in the resurrection of the Lord. Let us study for some time about this man. The lame man stood before them healed. Healed, my friend. Totally healed from head to toe. And he proclaimed the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture says, he was lame from birth. Can you imagine he was lame from his mother's womb? Let us study in the presumption. Sometime, my friend, those days, people think when, when a boy, when a girl, when, when a person had this kind of problem or any problem from the womb of the mothers, they think that they think that maybe it's the sin of the parents or the sin of that person who was sick. But friends, that is not the case for this man. I believe that this man might have heard about Jesus Christ before, but he didn't. He didn't have the opportunity to meet Jesus and to tell Jesus to heal him. I believe that God spared this man for such a time to glorify the name of his son Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord. And I also believe that God spared this man for a time that Peter and John would exercise the authority of the name of the resurrected Lord. Hallelujah. What happened? When we studied the scripture and we see that this man was in trouble. The Bible says he could not stand. He could not walk and he could not walk also. Three things. Stand, walk, walking, and walk, walking. He cannot work, he cannot lift anything. Somebody will have to lift him. Somebody will have to help him. Somebody will have to, to help him to walk and to stand. Friends, the problem is that he was lame. You see in our life, when we are lame spiritually, we cannot walk in the right direction. Sometimes when we are lame spiritually, we cannot stand when trouble comes. We cannot stand when temptation comes. Why the disciples of Jesus Christ fell? In their walk with him. Although they saw miracles, they saw signs and wonders, they saw the power of God manifested in their midst. But they fainted. They fell. They walked away. Why? Because spiritually they were lame. We were all born with lameness spiritually because of sin. Sin entered through one man named Adam and we all become lame in our spirit. Of course, this man also, I believe, he was lame spiritually. And for you and I also, why we cannot walk in the right direction. We cannot walk in holiness. We cannot walk in righteousness. We cannot walk in purity. Because we are lame. Spiritually. So today. I want to tell you. The power of the resurrection. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Will help you. Will heal you. Will ignite you. Will empower you. To stand and walk. For Jesus Christ and do the things that God calls us to do. I call upon each and every one of us today. 
The Bible says, Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And I say to you in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, if you say, Pastor, I am lame spiritually. Pastor, I cannot do the will of God. Pastor, I fall away. I am a backslider. I need help. I want to tell you one day you will stand and you will tell people because I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ on Easter Sunday and now I am alive. Now I am healed. Now I am well. Now I am an overcomer because of Jesus Christ who has risen from the dead. Today, I want to conclude this message. May the same Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to you and will bring healing to you at the same time in the blessed name of the risen Lord and His name is Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen.